Hey YouTube, Phil here with a life of adventures and I'm going to take you on an adventure today. As part of this development of a nomad lifestyle I'm going to go to, one of the things I found is a website which I'll put in the description down below uh, that tells you where you can camp all over the country um, either for free or cheaply or whatever. It goes everything from a Walmart parking lot to, you know, expensive upscale um, uh, campgrounds. So today I'm going to take you down. It's about 50 miles from here. Uh, it's a place called Pelican Rapids, Minnesota. It's a city park that's got campsites in it. Uh, this is Memorial Day weekend. So it'll be exciting to see how full this place is. And it'll also give me a chance to just scope out as as to what kind of, of places I can expect to end up in if I want to end up in a place like this. So here we go. Let's go see what we can find. Okay, guys, we're here. And it's really good that I had this experience because the um, GPS coordinates on this place were not right. I had looked up on the map before as to where this little town was that this sits. And on the website that I'm giving you the link below, it had the GPS coordinates. So either I copied the GPS coordinates wrong or um, the GPS coordinates are wrong on the site because I plugged the GPS coordinates into my GPS and about 10 miles down the road, it had kept trying to turn me the wrong direction. And I go, no, nah, that's not right. But, you know, there's an old pilot. I, um, I knew that wasn't right. And so I changed the coordinates to the city instead of the GPS coordinates. And it brought me right to the right spot in the direction I was going. So you can't always believe the GPS coordinates. So here we go. The park itself is right off of the uh, uh, main city street here. And uh, I'll give you a little bit. I'm going to change how I'm hanging on to this camera. Okay, I'm just going to kind of hand fly this one rather than, <laughs> rather than stand it up and let it bounce along. And uh, you can see it's not uh, a very big spot, which is kind of good. Um, and if I can ever get my car in gear, it'd be even nicer. There we go. And we wander around here, and this is the entrance to Sheeran Park. And I'll drive back this way a little bit and let you see. Now here, on the front, they had a thing that said if you want electrical hookups, it costs you. Uh, and even non-electrical hookups, it costs you. Um, and so, I don't know if the place was correct or not, but as you can see, there are spots in here that are available that you can park. And, you know, if you were going to come in here for a night or something and just snuggle in here. I don't think that would be um, hard at all. You know, it's just a nice little park along the river. Pretty nice little park. Um, they do have trash barrels and stuff like that, so you could, you know, get rid of trash if you needed to. Um, it did say, I think, that there was water available at this little site. There's a cool little bridge, people walking across the bridge in front of me. Uh, you know, it's just a nice little city park that would allow you to possibly stay for free. But the question is, was the free a misnomer? Did the free change? Uh, what happened? So you'd have to find out about something like that. And I'll go back up here and look. This looks like a, a nursing home next to me here. Um, so I wouldn't have to worry about the noisy neighbors. They do have 
potable water available here. You can see, see the water tap right there? And that's good, that's something that they always do. And I think these are um, restrooms and things here. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, they do have restrooms here. So that would be pretty nice. Um, but I was just surprised that, uh, and this is again a, um, a thing, they've got a dump station here that you can dump if you want to dump here. And uh, I'm coming back around here to see if I can find that sign again that talks about the rates. I might have to loop around it a second time. Well, they got a library there that you can get books out of. And I'm going to turn around here real quick. They do have some hiking trails and things off to the side here. It's kind of cool. Going up the hiking trail. I can't hardly see because the reflection in the mirror or the reflection in the, the viewer. And we just go back to the front where the notice was about camping. And there's a box up here that says, and I'll put this up here so we can read it here. It says Sharon Park. Non-electrical is $15 a night. Electrical is $20 per night. In case of severe weather, take cover in the bathhouse. Well, there you go. So, it does have a place for, um, it does have a place for you to call and uh, check uh, for reservations and stuff like that. And there's a place where you could deposit your money. Uh, I just don't know whether you're required to um, pay money or not. And it's only open basically May through September. So it's a, an odd type of thing. So I have to check. I'll call them. I'll pick up that phone number and, and check to see if it's actually free camping here or not. But there weren't very many people here. Um, which means, like I said, if it's a you know, it's a quiet night and you're coming in here and you're just going to spend the evening in here or something, you, you know, might be able to get by with just there uh, and not have anything else. So we'll talk about this a little more when I get back. I'm heading back to where I came from. I did want to show you guys that uh, this little town, uh, Pelican Ridge, is just a typical little uh, small town America. Uh, it's kind of cool. As you can see up there in the um, thing, it's 68 degrees. And if you look, you can just see that the, the leaves have popped out this week on the trees and everything. So it's really kind of our first pretty uh, day uh, up here in the Northland. It's um, just a real nice day. I made it back to the bedroom and I wanted to update you on a couple of things from my way back in my trip. Uh, it was like again about 45 minute trip um, down there and 45 minutes back and the real bad thing is that when I went down there and when I was there it was absolutely beautiful. Clear sky, everything else, no trouble. By the time I got back home, the clouds had all closed in and it started to rain. So, so there went a perfectly good Memorial Day weekend. And um, the other thing I wanted to bring up today on was the fact that the GPS that I had entered, the coordinates were correct that I had entered into my Garmin and they match with what was on the website. And the website, in fact, does coordinate uh, with what's in the um, Google Maps when you
find the GPS coordinates that way. So everything was right that I entered, but for some reason, the um, GPS, and I went back and verified that I put the coordinates incorrectly, the uh, GPS in my garment didn't resolve correctly. And so it's a problem somewhere in, in Garmin world. So that makes a good experience though, a good adventure if you will, right? In the sense that you always have to be aware of where you're going, what you're trying to accomplish, and if something doesn't look right, you've got to go to plan two. And always be aware of those things. So all in all, I think it was a good, I got a chance to look at things. I could verify that some of the information on the website wasn't correct and that things change. And I think all in all, it was good experience. It was well worth my trip to go down there. It was actually a pretty nice little place to pull off and sleep for a night or two. I probably wouldn't want to stay there for, you know, two weeks at a time. There's more beautiful vistas than that particular one, but that wasn't too bad. Plus the fact it was right in the middle of that little downtown. And, you know, I could have walked around and walked through all the little shops and done anything I wanted to that way. So if you like a chance to just do, uh, you know, small things and visit a small little town, hey, that works pretty good. So goodbye for now and uh, have a good week.